Sup YouTube, I'm back with another Chelsea Transfer Talks and for this week's episode, we've got a number of big news for all Chelsea fans out there. So stay tuned. Chelsea manager Antonio Conte insists Chelsea winger Juan Cuadrado will remain at Stamford Bridge this summer. The Colombian international spent last season on a loan at Serie A champions Juventus after struggling to break into the Blues' first team under former boss Jose Moreno. Juan Cuadrado joined Chelsea from Florentina in January 2015 for around 25 million but failed to impress during his six months in the Premier League. The 28-year-old has been heavily linked with a permanent return to Juventus after playing a key role in their Serie A and Coppa Italia double last season, but Conte has shot down any speculation by revealing Cuadrado is going nowhere. One of the names on Chelsea's shopping list appears to be Joao Mario. The Portuguese international played a major role in his national team that won the European Championship in France. Manchester United were thought to be interested in signing the Sporting Lisbon star, but their interest in him seems to be cooled off as they concentrate on the chase for Paul Pogba. Inter Milan are, however, still interested and could offer Chelsea competition for the signature of Mario. Although Chelsea or Inter Milan will have to pay Sporting CP as much as 60 million euros if they want to sign the promising youngster. Mario's natural ability to cover long distances during matches and well adapt to the 3 5 2 formation that Antonio Conte prefers seems to have been why the Chelsea manager appears keen on getting him this summer. And with the future of Fabregas under Conte still not clear, signing Joao Mario could do wonders for Chelsea. Willian could simply be played on the right with Mario on the left while Hazard could take Fabregas' place in the number 10 role which the Belgian excel for Lille in French League before signing for Chelsea in 2012. Chelsea are still in the chase for Juventus midfielder Quado Asamoah and are expected to make a move for him in the next few days. The Blues have been linked with a move for the Black Stars midfielder this summer but they are yet to make a concrete step in the transfer window to take him to England. However, recent reports speculate that Chelsea are desperate to sign the 27-year-old and Antonio Conte is actively working on a deal to capture him this summer. Conte signed the midfielder while he was Juventus manager in 2012 from Udinese and is keen to do the same as Chelsea's boss this summer following reports that Abramovich is set to increase the bid in the coming days. A top-class defender is required this summer and one of the names being considered is Roma's central defender Kostas Manolas, who is also wanted by Premier League rivals Arsenal. There are speculations that both Chelsea and Arsenal have offered deals worth 4 million per year for Manolas, more than what he earns at Roma. There's one problem remains with agreeing to the transfer fee thanks to Manolas' complex transfer agreement when joined Roma from Turkish club Olympiakos. Back in April 2014, transfer agreements between Roma and Olympiacos contract clause is if Malola is sold to a club for more than 12 million, Roma will be committed to pay Olympiacos half of the transfer fee for that deal. Roma valued the player highly and would demand a fee around 44 million for the defender, which means they will only receive around 22 million from the sale. Chelsea have wrapped up their second signing after agreeing a 30 million deal with Leicester City for the transfer of Angelo Kante. The French midfielder has been a revelation since his arrival from Cayenne last summer and also impressed with his national team at the recent Euros. The France international has agreed on a 5 year deal and is set to earn around 150k a week at Stamford Bridge. Antonio Conte has made Kante a priority signing as he looks to add some steel and energy to his midfield. The 25-year-old midfielder who was nominated for the PFA Football of the Year award last season following his impressive showing in Leicester's title run is said to have requested to leave the Premier League champions despite Chelsea not playing the Champions League this season. Claudio Ranieri has indicated that the final decision lies with the player as the Foxes has also made a fresh offer to retain his services. Kante's arrival at the bridge is likely to put the futures of Nemanja Matic and John Obi Mikhail in doubt as they play in a similar position to the Frenchman. Blues boss Antonio Kante is looking to further strengthen his team following the capture of Michi Batshuayi and Angelo Kante 
and now a centre back is next on his radar. Napoli's Kaludo Kalabali is top of the manager's list and the Blues have already submitted a bid for the defender, but are facing competitions from Everton whose interest has driven up the price. Fans on Twitter were abuzz at the news as this is Chelsea's second signing of the summer and one that could drastically improve their Premier League fortunes as they look to better their 10th place finish last season. Lastly, after completing the signing of 30 million Leicester City and Golo Kante, the Blues are planning a second raid on their Premier League champions for winger Riyad Mahrez. The Adria International is on the verge of turning down a new Foxes contract worth 100k a week and that will alert a number of Euro's biggest clubs tracking the 25-year-old who signed for 350k from Le Havre in 2014. Conte has made no secrets of his desire to sign a goal scorer and a PFA player of the year, Mares, who hit 70 goals last season, fits the bill. However, Fox's boss Claudio Ranieri insists he is confident Mares will stay at the King Power Stadium. That's all we have for this week's Transfer Talks. Don't forget to mention your thoughts on this week's video and feel free to share, like and subscribe. With a little support goes a long way, so join us in our YouTube journey and interact with the HF Nation community. Have a nice day people, till next time, peace!